So welcome back to the channel. Today I want to get into something that's very important. How to read one of these. A hydrometer. Don't be intimidated. It's your friend. I'm going to show you how to do it properly. Okay, spoiler alert. Don't miss these next batches of wine. It's going to be amazing. All right, I'm so excited to do this video on hydrometers. They're your best friend when you want precise ABV calculations and percentage of wine. Because most likely when you're going out buying wine, you're probably looking at the ABV. That's what most people look at, whether you're brewing home brew or wine. Uh, you, you probably want to know that number. So when putting this video together, I wanted to make this as simple as possible. So that's what I'm going to show you, the simple and easy way. Don't be intimidated by it. It is very easy process as long as you follow these instructions. So also, if you watch my wine video series, a couple of you have been asking, what did the mixed berry wine come out looking like? Here it is. It's crystal clear. Make sure you watch those videos because it, it shows you how to use bentonite which I strongly believe in for filtering wine. It's so easy. I have a specific video out on there on bentonite. So make sure you watch that if you're new to the channel. Uh, but we're going to make all kinds of wine. I got so many surprises coming down the line. You don't want to miss these. These are great tips for making wine. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. So the instructions I'm going to give you for calculating ABV this can be used for wine, beer, whatever you're making. This is how you use the hydrometer. It can be used across the board. So also in this video, we're going to discuss what specific gravity and what is BRICS. What do you need to know? Is it important to use one over the other? So most hydrometers have a couple different readings. You have your potential alcohol and then you'll have specific gravity. Uh, you can see from these slides here that you can see the specific gravity reading and you can see the potential alcohol reading. So what's the difference between bricks and specific gravity when using a hydrometer? Think of it as Celsius and Fahrenheit. They're just two different scales to measure alcohol. Uh, whether you use one or the other, it really makes no difference. There's conversion charts out there if you want to convert bricks to specific gravity or vice versa. Today, we're going to specifically hone in on specific gravity reading on your hydrometer uh, because that's what I chose to use. Again, you can use bricks, whatever you want. So if you watch my winemaking series, you saw where I was using the hydrometer and I was using the potential alcohol level. And that's just the down and dirty way. When I put this in, I can see what the potential of my alcohol reading is in the beginning. You want to try and get your wine somewhere between 10 and 15. Uh, 12 to 13 is probably ideal. So that's why I use the potential alcohol when I'm in first initially doing wine up front to see where I could possibly get. But that's not the exact way to do it. You want to get more precise, especially if you're going to sell your wine or give it away to friends they may want to know the exact alcohol content. So again, that's what we're going to get into next. And then also when you're using the potential alcohol reading, um, you know, that's only good is if you're 1.0 specific gravity. So if you initial reading, it says 14% and at the end after fermentation, you get it down to one. That's very close to what your alcohol is going to be in your wine, 14%. So again, before you started fermentation, if it was at 14% and it didn't get all the way down to the 1.0 specific gravity, then you could be a little off. So that's what we're going to get into is how to use specific gravity to get a beginning reading, an ending reading, and then calculate your ABV, alcohol by volume. So when do you take your readings using your hydrometer? You want to take it up front before fermentation starts, and then at the very end when fermentation is complete. 
those are the two numbers for your calculation that you'll need to calculate your ABV. So there is a formula used to calculate ABV. It's your original specific gravity minus your final specific gravity times 131.25. That will be how you calculate it using a formula. I like to use a calculator. I'm gonna show you one here which will actually be a little more specific where it takes temperature into play when you're calculating ABV. So does temperature really play a part in using your hydrometer and calculating ABV? Uh, yes, it does, but it is so minimal, like 0.1, if you're using a temperature rating uh, in a calculator. And you'll see that as I go here, because most of your hydrometers are set to a specific temperature. Mine is, I think, is 60 degrees. So if your temperature, when you're taking your readings, is not 60 degrees, it's going to be a little bit off. These calculators will let you adjust for the temperature of your wine or your home. To be honest, I wouldn't even worry about it, but I want to show you the, the correct way and if you want to use temperature in your calculation. So where do you get some of these uh, ABV calculators and calculations? Uh, Brewersfriend.com has a great one. It's a simple one. You just put in your uh, beginning and ending gravity readings and it'll calculate your alcohol by volume, ABV. So if you go out to the App Store, you'll find all kinds of ABV calculators. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. One that I download and I use when calculating ABV in my wine. So you can see in this photo here, our beginning reading was 1.093. When we started our fermentation process, that's going to be our beginning reading. So that's where we want to start. That's one of the numbers we need. And then we're going to need a final reading. So you can see here, we got a final reading of 1.000. So in what that means, basically, it's going to be a pretty dry wine. That's why we'll back sweeten at the end. But what it really means is that the sugar has completely gone. Everything that was sugar has turned into alcohol, which is what we're trying to get to. So when I did this initially and I saw 14%, if it gets down to one, that's pretty much what that means. It's going to be a 14%. But we're going to show you using the calculator, using the uh, beginning specific gravity and this ending gra specific gravity and show you what I mean. So you can see I plugged these numbers in the calculator. Original gravity is, was 1.0930. Uh, final gravity 1.0. When you hit the calculate button, you can see at the top it's 12.342% alcohol by volume. So that's pretty much where, exactly where you want a good wine. So if I put the temperature of the house in, or what the temperature of the wine should have been at 68, the alcohol content came to 12.339. So again, it's just so minimal. Uh, you don't really have to worry about the temperature that much of your house uh, when using a hydrometer. So I hope from watching this video, you see how easy it is to calculate ABV, alcohol by volume. You need two readings, a beginning reading before fermentation and an ending reading after fermentation. Plug it into the calculator and voila, there it is. It's that simple. So again, don't be afraid of the hydrometer. It's your friend. Also, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because this is coming up. Uh, I got two small batches of wine. I'm going to show you how to make small batches of wine. It's fun. It's easy. You should be doing it, especially if you enjoy wine. Make sure you click the like and subscribe button. Make sure you hit all the no notifications. We got a lot of stuff planned here. I got a surprise for you here that I'm planning to start this week. You don't want to miss that. It's the cheapest wine you can ever make, and it's delicious. So I hope you can see from this video that specific gravity is easy to work with. The calculations are very simple. Just make sure you follow the directions. Use your calculator. You need that beginning reading, the ending reading. If you want to get really specific, you need your house temperature when you took, uh, when you started fermentation and when you, after fermentation. But again, temperature is not that important. As long as you have a good beginning reading and ending reading, 
you're going to get within 0.1% of ABV. And that's what you shoot for.